In this lesson, we will learn about the make beat function, which we will use to create our own beats and rhythms in EarSketch. In this lesson, we will learn what make beat is and what it does, the syntax of the make beat built in function in EarSketch, and how to use the make beat function in EarSketch. Before we get into make beat, we will play the vocal sound once using insert media. This is how the sound file would play just as it was recorded without any additional changes or effects. As we work through these examples, we want to comment in or comment out the examples to enable the code or disable it. Remember, comment in means we are removing the hashtag and comment out means we're adding the hashtag. Comment in the code below. Insert media in parentheses, vocals comma one comma one. Take your cursor and highlight the code, then press and hold control and forward slash. On Windows and Chromebooks, on a Mac, it's the command button and forward slash. You should see the insert media instructions change in color from green to black once you remove the hashtag. Click the run button. Listen to the original sound with insert media. Click play. Yes, I am the man. Before we move on, comment out the line of code above that uses insert media. Using make beat, we will remix the vocals and make our own beats using something called a beat pattern. The beat pattern is a special kind of string, which means characters in quotation marks, that we use to control the way a sound is played. There are three different characters in a beat pattern. Zero, the zero means the sound is played from the beginning. Plus, the plus sign means it continues to play from that point. The minus sign means that it's silent. Remember, each character, zero, plus, or minus, is one sixteenth of a measure. So 16 of these characters is equal to one measure. Comment in the next two lines of code where you see a variable called beat b on the first line and make beat on the second line. These two lines of code should now be black, which means it's now active, and Python can interpret it instead of ignoring it. Click the Run button. We can see the same sound clip, but it looks different in the DAW. Notice how it starts in the beginning, and then it cuts off one quarter of the way in, and then starts over. Click the Play button. Yes, I am the, yes, I am the man. In this first beat pattern, it sounds like the record skips and goes back to the beginning of the vocals. Instead of saying, yes, I am the man, it sounds like, yes, I am, yes, I am the man. This stutter step plays the sound from the beginning twice because of those two zeros. The zero starts the sound at the beginning, and the plus sign continues the sound. Before we move on, comment out the two lines of code so they're no longer active. We do this so that we don't have overlapping tracks. Next, we'll play the vocal sound on track one, measure one, using the pattern assigned to the beat D variable by commenting in these two lines of code. Hit the run button. We can now see the sound clip play, then there's a pause, then it plays again, and then it plays a third time. Click the play button. Yes, I, yes, I, yes, I am the man. In this pattern, it sounds like the record skips and plays the vocals from the beginning three times. It sounds like, yes I, yes I, yes I am the man. The stutter set plays the sound from the beginning three times because of the three zeros. The zero starts the sound back at the beginning again, plus sign continues the sound. Each minus sign means it's silent for a sixteenth note. This is why we hear gaps of silence in the sound. It cuts out the man in, yes I am the man. In this section, we learned what make beat is, what it does, the syntax of the make beat built in function in your sketch, and how to use the make beat function in your sketch. We'll see you again on Breakbeat Code.